now let's see how transporters act as target for drug action the classification and structure neuronal membranes normally serve to keep the internal milia of the neuron constant most neurotransmitters are transported again into synaptic vesicles for storage after neurotransmission both these type of neurotransmitter transport that is the presynaptic reuptake as well as the vesicular storage utilizes a molecular transporter belonging to a superfamily of 12 membrane region proteins these transporters have a structure going in and out of the membrane 12 times hence the name these transporters are a type of receptor that binds to the neurotransmitter prior to transporting it across the membrane there are two major subclasses of plasma membrane transporters some of these transporters are presynaptics and others are on glial membranes the first subclass consists of sodium chloride coupled transporters called the solute carrier slc6 gene family and include transporters for monoamine such as serotonin norepinephrine dopamine as well as for the neurotransmitter gaba and the amino acid glycine the second subclass consists of high affinity glutamate transporters and are also called solute carriers slc1 gene family in addition to these two there are three subclasses of intracellular synaptic vesicle transporters slc18 gene family comprises of the vesicular monoamine transporters also known as the vmats for serotonin norepinephrine dopamine histamine and the vesicular transporter for acetylcholine SLC32 gene family consists of the vesicular inhibitory amino acid transporters also known as the VATs and the SLC17 gene family consists of the vesicular glutamate transporters such as the V glutes 1 2 3